So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video we have discussed basic structure of a C++ program, right? Now, why we write programs like simple programs you will write at starting at two numbers and these kind of things. Ultimately, we learn programming to build some software you can say, right? And what software generally do? They manage the information. The information can be in any form like the data, in integer data, it can be in text form, it can be images, videos, sounds, you know, the numbers, names, anything. But ultimately software is used to manage that information, right? Now to store that information in the program, what you will use? Sometimes different, different, you know, types of variables and constants we use, these kind of things we use. Many things we use, we will discuss these things one by one in detail. So in this video, we will talk about constants and variables in C++ that we, we, we you know generally use while we write programs. So what are constants and what are variables with the help of example, with the help of a program, practical also we will see on my laptop, right? So first is, as the name suggests, what is constant? These are you can say fixed values, right? Or you can say the values that cannot be changed during the execution of a program. Once you have defined a constant, you cannot change that constant, you cannot change the value of that constant during the execution of the program. You cannot modify that thing. These are fixed values, right? And constant can be integer constant, real constant or you can say floating constant, floating point character constant and strings, right? These you can see numeric constant, these are character constant. So integer constant, simple numbers like 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, these are integer constant, right? 1, 2, 3, these kind of thing, 34, 54, right? But it is not an integer constant. These are valid, but if you write something like this, uh, dollar one two three this is not valid special symbol is not allowed if you write like something like this one one comma one one two this number this is also not a constant valid integer constant if you write like something one two space one two three this is not a valid constant right and real or floating point constant are what they have that decimal point like if i write eleven point one one so this is integer part, this is what fractional part and this is decimal. If you write something like 11.0, one, one this also comes under floating point constant, right? You can also write minus 0 0.1, this is also valid. Or if you write 0.34, this is also valid, right? So these are floating point constant. Now character constant, simple anything you write a single character you write in single code that is named as character constant like if i write this thing a in single code that is character constant if i write 3 in single code that is also character constant see this 3 is different from this 3 this is integer constant decimal 1 decimal constant and right integer constant and this is character constant so character constant we store generally be stored in the computer memory by the in which form sky code american standard code for information interchange right so in sky value of this small a is 97 right and this 3 is sky value of 0 is 1 is 49 2 is 50 and 3 is 51 so sky value of this 3 is 51 and this 3 is single integer simple integer constant so this this and this are different thing right but this is not a character constant if you write something like a b no here we have two character it this under single quote there can be only single character or a symbol like symbol dollar this is also character constant we have space this is also character constant we have comma this is also character constant in single quote we have hash in single quote this is also considered as character constant right and these things abc uh, capital abc the special symbols numbers they all have their you know corresponding sky value so in sky value they are stored right 
So, this is character constant. Now, string, string as we know it is like sequence of characters. So, in double quotes we write like A, B, C or in double quotes, if in double quote you will write A, this is a single character but you write in double quotes. So, this would be a string constant, string literal, it is not character constant. This is different from this, this is character, this is considered as string. By default compiler will add a null, you know that uh, null character uh, this just to show the termination of the string. So, the string would be stored in memory like a and null and this would be stored simply by a, no null character because this is a single character, character constant, right. So, I guess these constant are clear to you, see these are same as we have discussed in C language. So, if you want a detailed video in this detailed explanation, you can go to that video, the link of that video I will put in the side button, you can check out that. I think the basics like what is constant that is clear to you. Now, how to declare constant and why we declare constant? Let us see that thing and see this is also a string 1, 2, 3, 4 double quotes. This would also be considered as a string. It is not like that only characters, sequence of character is string. Character can be like any alphabet also special symbol like this would also be a string, right. So, I hope now string is clear to you. Now, let us see how to declare constants. Two methods are there. You can use a const keyword something like this. In a program I can write const keyword data type uh, primitive data type although we will discuss data type in this series later but I hope data type simple data type is clear to you that we have discussed in uh, C programming language int the name of the variable a and just the value 10. This is the correct uh, definition you can say of constant how you can write a constant or have you can define a constant right. If you write something like this const int a and then a is equal to 10 that is not valid this would be valid right. Now this a is having constant value now you cannot change this value in your program suppose I will print c out a so this line will print 10 and after that I want to change the value a is equal to 15 and again I will print C out A. So, this line will give error because this is what read only value you cannot modify it and you are you want to modify the read only value. So, that would be an error because this is a constant A right. So, and see this A is what now how to store this value in memory like this whenever your program will run in your program we have some instructions, we have some variables like we have data and instruction like add two numbers. So, data would be the numbers like 5 and 4 and the instruction would be add two numbers like we, we are supposed to add two numbers you write down the logic that thing. So, for that when your program will run some memory would be allocated in RAM main memory right. So, some memory would be for your instruction the data uh, some memory would be for your instructions and some memory would be for your data. So, how you will store this data like 5 and 4 in memory obviously you have to store in zeros and one, one forms it would be stored not directly 5 and 4 it is just for your understanding purpose. So, we have to name this memory location because how you will store or how you will access that memory location if you do not have any name suppose I do not have any name then how you will call me right. Hey, hi, hey girl, that is not a correct way. Name like Jenny, that is fine. Yes, I have some space, I occupy some space on this planet earth and I have a name, right. So, same the data is there that is occupying some space in memory and that data is having some name under some memory named memory location the data is there. So, this suppose memory location name is A, this is B. So, this A and B are just variables variables. So, variable is not like where we store data no we store data in memory but variable is the name of the memory location where we store the data. So, it is just a named memory location that is it it is a container for the data that is it name of the memory location right. So, these are variables and variables as the names are just simple variables 
uh, these val the, the value of the variable can be modified during the execution of a program. The value of the constant cannot be modified, right? So I hope variable is clear to you, right? So now let us see the difference. This value you cannot modify, but if you do not write here const. Now int a, this is now simple variable. A is name of the variable, int is data type and this is the value. Now print, you can print, you can uh, print the value like using cout object and after that you can change it a is equal to 15 and this line will, will print now 15. Now this program will work fine. I will show you this on my laptop also because this is not constant, this is variable, right? Now uh, yeah, I think variable is clear to you, uh, just a named memory location or the name of the memory location where we store the uh, data, our data, right? So data can be integer, floating type of data, character or string type of data, any data can be there. And according to that we take the name of the variable. There are some rules to define name of the variables, right? Suppose uh, that should be meaningful, uh, like if you want to calculate sum of two numbers. So the variable you can take like sum, in sum we will print. If you want to calculate average, so just take the name of the variable avg or average that should be meaningful. It is not like that I am taking x, here I will store sum of two numbers. Yeah, you can take this, it is not compulsory to take sum, in sum is equal to a plus b, I will store the sum, it is not compulsory, you can take x also, x is equal to a plus b, that is also fine. But sum is more meaningful to you, so it would increase the readability of your program, right. And c, name of the variable always contains the letters a to z or a to z or the uh, that uh, and, uh, underscore and numbers 0 to 9. No special characters are allowed, right? Like uh, and the name of the variable always be started from a letter like s u m sum or underscore. This is also fine. But 1 s u m this is not allowed. But as you um, sum 1, this is allowed. Always started from either a letter, capital or small or a underscore, that is it. Dollar sum, this is not allowed. Any special symbol in this is not allowed, like or you can say a, v, g, dollar, this is not allowed. Or you can say a, v, e, average, underscore or sum, this is allowed, underscore is allowed. I hope these rules are clear to you now. Now second method, let us see the second method to define constant. Second method is use this line hash define macro. Before obviously see you can write down this line anywhere in your program. Generally we write just uh, after the header files, right. This is the correct where you can say location to use hash define type of things otherwise you can use it in anywhere in the program that is it is not a rule it is not compulsory that you have to define you know uh, after header file only hash define just name of the constant I am taking look suppose pi 3.14 that is it or hash define any name of the variable like n 50 or hash define max 100, right? So, this pi like why we define constant? See constant is what? The value cannot be changed in the program. So, generally if you want that this value should be fixed like pi value should be fixed 3.1415, right? Because yeah it is fixed. So, if you define it as a constant no one can change it in your program. See accidentally if someone by mistake change want to change the value of any constant want to change the value of pi that that will give error right. If you do not define it as a constant simple variable if you take it then anyone can change that thing maybe not int intentionally but accidentally by default and that would give you error in the program or maybe not error but you will not get, get correct output right. And if your program is large and you will not, you are not getting correct output and you are not getting any error even. So it would be very difficult for you to find out these kind of things like where, what is the thing, what, where we have, uh, you know, gone wrong. 
So better if you want that this value should be fixed in your program better to define that value as a constant either by using hash define method or by using const method. So now this value cannot be changed in the program this n value is also fixed m max value is also fixed. Now see here I am taking capital letters this as you can say naming convention when you define a constant using hash define using this line then all capital letters we take generally because when we define variables in our program we generally take small letters. So just to avoid the confusion like this is a simple variable in a program or this is a macro type of thing to differentiate these kind of things we take like these things the macro constant in capital letters but it is not a rule you can simply write small max that is also fine right but it just for your convenience to differentiate these kind of things we take these uh, as a in capital letters. So now whenever you in a program you write the max or n or pi that would be replaced by these values before the compilation start by the preprocessor right. I hope the working of the preprocessor pre -processor is clear to you because we have already uploaded a video in this thing. You can find out that video in C programming playlist right. So I think the difference between constant and variable is clear to you. Let me just show you with the help of a program. So let us create a new program here. I am just taking the variable const and where dot cpp extension would be dot cpp right. So first thing you have to include io stream header right. Then we simply write int main and just taking a constant c o n s t const int a is equal to 89 and I am just printing a semicolon right sorry let us take e n d l. So I have told you namespaces these are under namespaces these objects see out the stream objects e n d l these are under a namespace the header file is uh, header is io stream under this header there is a namespace within those namespaces these are declared these things are there defined. So you have to use std this namespace name std colon colon scope resolution operator right. Now this is fine or after header file also you can write down something like this using namespace std rather than writing std std here but it is not a good practice to write this thing because in std namespace we have many things that we do not want to use right. So better to use with the you no know, the things the objects the classes or the functions where from where these are from std namespace you want to use that should be you know you can say prefixed with std namespace that also you can write or maybe it is like cumbersome for you guys so you can write down this thing using namespace std that is also fine right. Or the next thing is you can use something like this using std cout using std endl and generally we also use like this using std scene also generally we use in a program. So three you can define something like this now you do not need no need to write down this std again and again. Now anytime you can write c out in your program and you no need to write down std colon colon c out because you have used this using. So now you can use this thing throughout your program ok now this is constant let me just first run this and see what output you are getting whether it is printing the value of a or not. See it is 89 right now I want to modify this a is equal to 78 and again I want to print c out a e n d l. Now see already there is a red mark under this a and you can the expression must be a modifiable l value because it is a constant so you can modify it error is there assignment of read only variable a 
the variable is read only right if you take simple variable int a 89 and this thing now that is fine now first time it is printing 89 next time it is printing 78 right so that is how you can define constants right so now let me just write down here const here you can write down float any character constant you can take string constant you can take if you take string see if I take string constant here so how you will write const if I write like string name of the variable is str I am taking equal to I am assigning Jenny Khatri right semicolon see now string identifier string is undefined so string here is as a class you know in C++ so that is in a header known as string and in that header we also have multiple predefined functions which you can perform with string so to use this string you have to include string string this header right and this still this string is what undefined because see header is fine but under which namespace this string is under std so either you can write down here std colon colon now there would be no error right and see out just name of this variable string right or you can use here also using std colon colon string that is also fine right now let me just run this and show you what output you will get here ok see it is printing jenny khatri now if you want to change this str equal to hi it will give error you cannot change it see you cannot change let me just show you what output you will get let me just run this and show you see it you will get an error right so you cannot change it now it will work fine and it will print simply what is the string jenny khatri see it is printing jenny khatri here right so i think this is clear to you guys now see in string we have what just press control and click to this string it is components for manipulating sequence of characters so you can see this is standard c++ library header include string this is the header so that's why we include this hash include uh, string right right and they have defined these these system headers here we have right in these system headers you can click on any header and there you will get many things defined in namespace std like just basic string if i click then you will find here see see this is the namespace std right so this namespace std is in many headers io stream also in string also in all other headers also this is named as standard so all the standard things are within this namespace std right so that's why we have to include std so now you can try out the different method of uh, de defining constant like hash define you can take a constant name n or max and the value and you try to change that value in your program and see what output you are getting that is for your assignment right you have to try out this thing at your home